In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Our Lady, Seat of Wisdom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Lord's strong words in today's Gospel are words which are to instill in us the understanding that nothing in this world is worth losing heaven. Nothing in this world is worth losing eternal life. And that for those who refuse to honor God and obey him, for those who refuse to convert and repent and turn back to God, even if it's in the last moments of life, that our Lord, our Lord reminds us of the truth of the existence of hell, the hell is a doctrine of the church in which God has not created, by which God allows those who reject him, who do not want to love him, who do not want to turn to him, that, that recognizing that they will never find their happiness in him, that they have, they have as their destiny the, 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 they have as their destiny eternal damnation and the fires of hell. And our Lord specifically uh, uses uh, imagery of the body uh, 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 causing one to sin. And of course, our Lord is not saying physically for us to, uh, to uh, cut off the members of our body, uh, the, the limbs of our body, but spiritually that we are to uh, overcome sin and reject sin and, uh, and, uh, and do violence to ourselves interiorly, spiritually, when we, whenever we find ourselves being led into sin, to reject it and to use all the means possible to reject sin. We live in a society, in a world in which sin is glorified. There's no doubt to that, that our society has become so perverse, so perverted, that sin is glorified. People boast of sin. They they boast of their sins, which is so sad. And we see the consequences of sin in our society, that sin enslaves the person, enslaves the passions, enslaves the person to Satan. It, it, it leads them away from uh, the true happiness and joy, which is found in freedom from sin and striving to overcome sin. And it has consequences, so many consequences. And we see those consequences with the evil of abortion in which people have become so selfish and uh, so selfish that a, child is, uh, that a child is rejected and murdered out of convenience uh, as, a result of, uh, 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 as, a, as a result of the, the mentality of our society that it doesn't matter what I do, that all, all that matters is that I'm happy, and even if it means another life is, 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 is lost for me to acquire that happiness, even if I have to kill a life, uh, that, uh, that's all that matters. And we live in a world in which uh, uh, that's, that the notion that there is such a thing as sin uh, is rejected and that, uh, that eternal, and in which the, the thought of hell is rejected. And it used to be a time that uh, you could preach about hell and what put fear into people's hearts, but now people have don't even have a fear of hell. Uh, people don't even have a fear of hell. That they, we have become so perverse in our society that, that we have lost the sense of fear, uh, the good sense of fear of hell, by which people uh, in times past were were converted. People have told me, "I know I'm going to hell, but I don't care. I'd rather stay in my sin." Uh, and and I don't understand this mentality of 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 what people think hell is. It's not Disneyland. It's eternal suffering and eternal separation from God. And and uh, and and with this, uh, uh, people have this other error in which it doesn't no matter what I do, I'm going to go to heaven. It doesn't matter how I live my life, I'm going to go to heaven. And this is another error that is so prevalent in our society that it doesn't matter how you live your life, what you do, uh, uh, that no matter what, 
I'm going to go to heaven. And, and our Lord is very clear today that if we choose to live in sin and die in sin, uh, uh, a mortal sin that is, we will lose him forever. We will be damned. And Our Lady, uh, when she appeared to the children at Fatima, she show, showed them a vision of hell. And, and the children saw the souls of the, of the damned uh, in hell and the demons that were there. Saint Faustina, our Lord gave her. Our, our Lord took Saint Faustina to hell. She had a vision of hell, and she said that she knew the souls of the Catholics because of the indelible mark from baptism and confirmation on their soul. And the demons were tormenting the Catholics more than anyone else, saying, "You had all the means to get to heaven. You had all the sacraments, but by your very choice, you are damned with us forever." And other saints had visions or dreams of hell. Saint John Bosco. Uh, also had had uh, had famous dreams of hell, of hell, and and we see how important it is that our society is so uh, caught up in 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 uh, the sin and sins, especially the sins of the flesh. And uh, when Blessed Jacinta, she was only 10, 11 years old, was in the hospital uh, before she died, Our Lady appeared to her in the hospital and told her that the, the, the sins that bring the most people to hell are the sins of the flesh. She, is, she was a little girl, just 10, 11 years old. She could not have come up with that on her own or understood what sins of the flesh were. Our Lady told her that the most souls go to hell for sins of the flesh. And, and this is what's being glorified in our society, uh, the sins of the flesh. Is, and, and, we, and it's being glorified in movies, in television, and in books and in music even, uh, in, in music. And we see how, how far our society has turned away from God and, and, and rejected truth and rejected uh, the notion of sin and, and, and that we're here to become holy and to, and to prepare ourselves for eternal life with God in heaven. Our Lord gives us all the means by which to overcome sin. If we fall into sin, we have the sacraments, especially the sacrament of confession by which we can repent, turn back to God, and start again. It's so important that we use the sacrament. We have the Eucharist, our Lord Jesus in his body, blood, soul, and divinity, which nourishes and strengthens the soul and the will to turn away from sin. The Eucharist strengthens us and helps us to overcome sin. We have Our Lady who if we turn to her when we're tempted, the devil will flee. If we pray to her for the grace we need to overcome temptations or sins that we struggle with, especially with the rosary, Our Lady will give us those graces to reject sin and to overcome any temptation. And we have our guardian angel that God has given us to help us and protect us whenever we're tempted. We have so much, uh, uh, so much grace available to us, so much help. Uh, Saint Joseph is especially a great patron uh, for holy purity, and uh, he's called the terror of demons. And and I always tell people, when tempted, pray to Saint Joseph. Uh, he will strengthen you and help you, uh, and uh, the devil will quickly flee. And so, we have so much available to us to help us to get to heaven. What is important is that we have our hearts and our minds set on rejecting sin and turning to God. When, we, when, we, when we're tempted to overcome sin, and when we fall, not to despair, not to give up hope, but to turn back to God through the sacrament of confession and to persevere. Even the saints struggled. Uh, the saints struggled uh, with temptation. The saints, St. Saint Maximilian Kolbe said, he was consoled to know that the saints were not saints overnight, but what made them saints is they persevered. They went to the sacraments, they renewed their resolutions and they persevered. And we have to do the same, uh, that we must persevere in striving to become saints and not think that it's impossible for us to overcome any temptation or sin that we struggle with. But God's grace is greater than, uh, uh, than, than anything that we, we might struggle with and that we can become great saints. Even St. Augustine, who, who, who once prayed, Lord, give me... Uh, Lord, give me, uh, he said, Lord, give me, uh, uh, grant me chastity, but not yet. Uh, he struggled with purity, St. Augustine. He had a child out of wedlock. And yet we see through his mother's prayers and his, 
his prayers, uh, he became a great saint. He became a, a priest, a bishop, uh, one of the fathers of the church. And so we, we have so many wonderful uh, saints to look up to who, who have shown us that we can become holy, we can become saints if we only uh, use all the graces God gives to us and have confidence in his, in his help in, in, in rejecting sin. And especially we too must pray for our world and our society that uh, our, our, our Lady said so many souls go to hell because there's no one to pray for them and do penance. And so we must pray for our society for the conversion of hearts to recognize the evil of sin, the enslavement of sin to Satan, and that, uh, and, uh, that hope and joy that comes only when one follows and dedicates their life to Christ Jesus. May our Blessed Mother grant us the grace that all we need to always reject sin and to help us to live always united and under her mantle, that we may truly live our lives in preparation for that eternal life forever in heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.